The following tutorial is part of a full-length course on setting up a WordPress site with the customizer theme. If you're interested in setting up a beautiful, mobile responsive site with a slider, social media sharing, video embedding, an email sign-up form, and much, much more, sign up for my free course below. Hit the link below to register for the course at danielboudreaulive.com. Now let's get to the tutorial. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Click the Show More button below this video to get access to a free domain and $1 a month hosting from GoDaddy. Let's set up the contact form on our contact page. In order to do this, we're going to need to install a plugin. So we're going to navigate down to the plugins menu item here from the dashboard. We're going to click on Add New. And the plugin is called Contact Form 7. So just type in Contact Form 7 here. seven there we go and there it is and as you can see it's got one plus million active installs so that's a lot of people using this contact form so that's a good sign i'm gonna click on install now and activate plugin okay now you see that this new contact menu item has appeared and i want to add a new contact form so these are this is the code for your contact form and you can modify certain things here like uh, if the name is required here the email is required here's the subject i don't think that's required and there's a submit at the end now the what you have to pay attention to here is to uh, change this email address because the contact form has to be sent somewhere and by default it's got this uh, really weird email address that uh, you probably won't really easily find <laughs> but it, it's it's in your site somewhere it's in the install but it's it's just very awkward so uh, we're going to have to create an email address so before we do that we're just going to name this form and name it home fitness form okay now save that. Okay, next step here is to log in to the cPanel. So if you recognize this this pane here, log in to cPanel. You're going to go back to you're going to go to the email section to accounts. And you're going to create yourself an email with the address um, it could be, for example, info at yoursite.com. So and since we're doing this, um, remember we set this up on a subdomain. So if you're doing it that way, uh, you can choose the, the name info at homefitness.yourdomain.com or whatever extension you chose. So let me demonstrate and hopefully that's going to be a little clearer if you're more of a visual person so I'm going to click on create account and here I'm gonna be able to choose which domain I want the email to be part of so I'm gonna type info and you can type whatever you want in this field it can be like info or support or accounting and here I'm gonna select which domain so the domain is home fitness and here's my uh, domain that I'm piggybacking on. It's the home fitness. Home fitness is the subdomain of the session fiddler. So I'm going to choose that. Cpanel password. I've got my last pass is going to uh, auto generate a password for me. So I don't have to spend a bunch of time writing that down and create account. So now I've got my info at homefitness.sessionfiddler.com so go ahead and create that address once you're done that we're going to go back to our edit contact form and here on the, under this mail tab we're going to change this we're going to change this uh, this email address here so by default it, it put the, in this address wordpress at home fitness dot session fiddler dot com that one doesn't really exist it just populated with some this field with something automatic so we're just going to check the, uh, change this to info 
at homefitness.sessionfiddler.com. So we're going to copy paste that and put it into this field. There we go. So now once somebody sends the email from our contact form, it's going to go to this address. Now you can't send it to something like Gmail or Hotmail because it's going to say that the address doesn't match the name of the domain. So there must be a rule in there somewhere to not allow any uh, to uh, it won't allow any domains that aren't part of your site. So we're going to save that. And all we need to do now is grab this little snippet of code here copy that and head back up to our pages section and we're going to find our contact us page and here we're going to paste this into the text tab there is our text uh, our, our short, some people call it a snippet other people call it a short code so let's call it, just call it a short code so that short code is pasted into there click update now we're going to go up here and view the page and we got our beautiful contact form here. So in order to test this out, I'm going to write just a, a quick little email here and then click send. And it says your message has been sent. Now you're probably wondering where this email is going. Well, it's going to the address that you just set up here in your cPanel. So go back to cPanel, go find your address that you've created for this domain and click on this little more tab and you're going to access the webmail. So here it's going to bring you to another part of the cPanel. So it's these are these are like uh, the programs that read your email. So I just go for this the squirrel mail here. Okay, and there's our email. There's my email from John, Home Fitness, hello. So here I got the from, here I got the hello, that's the subject line, here's my message body, hi, how are you today? And it says this email was sent from a contact form on Home Fitness, and there's my, uh, there's my domain name. So. Awesome, we've created a, our email address for our site and we've created a contact form. Now you can create as many of these, of these um, email addresses as you want. You can create uh, support at home fitness, you can create accounting at home fitness, and you can create a bunch of these. And don't worry about having about getting lost with all these uh, emails to keep track of because I'm going to show you a wonderful thing with this is that you can forward it to your main email just by going to the forwarding tab that I showed you there and then you create an email account forwarder add forwarder and you just type in the email address of your main email there click add forwarder so then any email that ends up on this in this at this email here will be forwarded to your other account so you could have potentially have uh, five email addresses all forwarding to the same email address here so you don't have to manually check all of them so that's those are some things that you could do with uh, with this email all right Here's a special message for anyone looking to gain an online presence by creating a website, but can't follow a clear path to get established on the web and get results. Hi, my name is Daniel Boudreau, and if you want to succeed with WordPress, then you'll probably be interested in what I have to share with you in a second. Many people looking to gain an online presence suffer from the idea that you need to be tech savvy or have coding knowledge to build websites, but nothing could be further from the truth. And if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business website, then this is exactly what you're looking for. I'd like to introduce you to my video training course called Customizer, Learn WordPress with the Ultimate Creative Theme. In this course, I'll teach you how to create a fully functional and mobile responsive site with no details left out. I'll almost be holding you by the hand with every step forward. 
My course makes it simple for you to get your mobile responsive site online with no coding required. You'll be able to leverage the internet to show your product or service while staying in complete control. Work with a theme that runs 100,000 plus websites and has 96% 4.5 to 5 star reviews. You can get help with Customizer's expansive knowledge base and start building your WordPress site with a free theme that rivals any premium theme. What makes this even better? After going through this course, you'll have the confidence to create any website using the Customizer theme, which also means that you won't be stuck feeling like you're putting off getting an online presence that showcases your product or service. And best of all, you'll start seeing results with the Customizer course in less than a week, and it's absolutely free. So again, if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business site, understand this. You need a way to quickly get a fully functional mobile responsive site online. Your own unique website is the number one way to create instant credibility. You'll get access to all the videos of the course in a focused environment and you won't have to go combing through outdated videos on YouTube and try to piece a website together by yourself. My WordPress Customizer course holds the key to your success with WordPress. Hit the link below to sign up and get instant access to my 100% free course. Take care and see you on the inside.